Welcome fellow consumers to Consumer Math Lesson 3.4, Commissions, Piecework, and Tips. Our objectives include calculating wages with tips and wages based on commission or piecework. Commission is when you're paid a percentage of the dollar amount you sell, like a salesperson, um, think car salesman or someone who's in a department store, the amount, the dollar amount that they get you to buy in clothing, they get a percentage of that. Piecework wages are when you are paid based on how many items you produce or complete. And graduated piecework wages are when you are paid on a scaled or level pay scale depending upon the total number you produce. For instance, if you get paid a dollar each for the first 100 items, and then you get paid a dollar 20 for every item over 100, that would be an incentive to make more than 100 because you'd get paid more to do more. Let's look at example one. In example one, we have a shoe store clerk that makes an hourly wage and gets a 7% commission on sales in excess of $2,000 a week. So we are to find the gross pay for the week that this person made. So first of all, let's look at the important information. They get $12.50 per hour and 7% commission in excess of $2,000 per week. And that's on sales. That's important too. So we need to find his gross pay for a 40 hour week if he sold $3,550 worth in sales that week. So let's see how we would set this up. So first of all, we need to have his hourly rate, $12.50, times the number of hours. And that is because it's $12.50 per hour. He did 40 hours, so we're going to multiply that times 40. And then we're going to add that to the amount, the commission, which is 7%. That would be 0 0.07. And if you're not sure how to find the decimal, all you have to do is take a percentage. That's going to be equal to that number out of 100. And when you do the division on your calculator, it gives you the decimal just like that, okay? So this is just a division problem. 7 divided by 100 is 0 .07, and that's the decimal that we use to calculate here. And we got to find the amount over 2,000 that he would get commission on. So the amount over the 2,000 here, we would take 2,000 away, so 3,550 minus 2,000 because he only gets paid over the $2,000 mark. That would be $1,500, 1550 is what he would make. So we're going to multiply that times 1550 because that's what he made. And then that is going to equal his gross pay for the week. So let's do those calculations. So let me clear this. Uh, first, we have the hourly rate right here. That's going to be 1250 times 40 hours. That's going to be $500. So $500 is what he made at, with his hourly rate. So now let's see what he made with his commission rate. So that is 0 0.07 times $1,550, $108.50. So $108.50, that is going to equal $608.50 when we add the two together. And that is his gross pay. So you can see how easy that was to put together and solve. So let's look at example two. In problem two, we have Christina, who is a part-time server, and she makes $5.25 per hour plus tips. 
And then it gives us the four shifts that she worked this week so that we can find her gross pay. So first of all, let's look at what she makes per hour. And it says she makes $5.25 per hour plus tip. So that's going to be our calculation. That's how we're going to set up our equation. We're going to say $5.25 times the number of hours that she works. That's going to be the first part. The second part is going to be her tips plus tips. And that is going to equal her gross pay. That would be the calculation that she would use every week to figure out how much she was bringing home. So let's figure out how many hours she has. So the first day she has four hours. The second day she has three hours. The third day she has four hours. And the last day she has 3.5 hours. So when we add all of that up, we have 14 and a half hours. So now we can put this amount, this is our hours. We can put this into this calculation here. So 525 times the number of hours, which is 14.5, plus, now we need to find out her tips. We're going to add all her tips together. So that's going to be 33.50 for the first day, 30.30 uh, 30 for the second day, $60 for the third day, and $29.95 for the fourth day. So let's add all that up, bring down the five, and this would be 17, bring down the decimal, carry one, and this would be 12, 13, carry one. So that would be four, seven, 13, 14, 15. So 153, 75. So that would be her tips. So 153, 75. And that's going to equal her gross pay. So let's, we'll call that GP for short. So let's do the calculation of the number of hours times the amount that she makes per hour. So let's just do that on the calculator. So we are going to say $5.25 times 14.5 hours. And that's $76, and this is 0.125. We would round that up to the closest penny, which would be right here in your hundreds place. So $76.13 is what we would write here. $76.13 for her hourly wage plus... 153.75 and let's see how much that equals. I'm just going to do it on the calculator and I'm going to go ahead and round this the right way. 76.13 plus 153 and 75 cents and that would give her $229.88 for the week. And that would be her gross pay. And that's how we would solve that problem. All right, let's look at example three. Now, in this problem, we have a piecework scale. And this person is making a certain number of items every week. And they get paid based on how many in each at each point. Like, uh, for instance, the graduated piecework scale she's using is a dollar per piece up to 300 pieces, $1.25 for the next 60, and $1.40 per piece for anything over that. So let's look and see how many she made and how much we, we can pay her. All right, so we're gonna use the piece scale work below to find the piecework wage for a person who completes 379. So 379 pieces in a week. So, and that is what the scale also says down here. The scale will tell you the time range also. So she started out with 379. I call her a she, could be a he, I don't know. And that is for the first range is 300 pieces. 
Well, $1 times 300 we know is $300. So we're going to go ahead and say $300, or we'll just write it out 300 times $1 for the first level. For the second level, let's take 300 away so we can find how many is remaining. We have 79 remaining. So the next level says $1.25 for the next 60. Well, they've worked more than 60, so we're going to do all 60 at $1.25. Okay, so we're going to subtract 60 to see how many we have left, and that's 19. Let me move this over. It's going to kind of be in the way if I don't. Oops, wrong one. All right, so we know now that it's 19, so I'm going to just, I'll, tell you what, I'll move this around. Let's see if that'll work. Yep, that works. All right. So the next 60 was $1.25 each. So the last 19 are going to be $1.40 because that's more than the 360. So we're going to multiply that times $1.40. All right. So if you add all of these back together, you get the total 379 that they made, but they get a dollar for the first 300. $1.25 for the next 60, and then $1.40 for everything more than the first 360. So now we're going to do the calculation for all of that, and that is going to equal the gross pay, or we'll just say pay, for that person for what they did. So let's look at, um, we can do this one in our head, 300 times a dollar, we know that's $300. But this one we may need the calculator for. So let's look at that and pull that up. 60 times $1.25, that's going to be $75. So $75 for the second part. And then we're going to add or we're going to multiply this so we can add this amount in. And that's going to be, let me clear this, 19 times $1.40 is $26.60. So that would be $26.60. And when we add those amounts together, that's going to give us her pay. So we know, I can just pull up this calculator, We've already got 2660 in here, and we know 300 plus 75, we can do that in our head, that's gonna be plus 375, that's 40160. So $401.60 is what this person gets paid for this many pieces using this piecework scale. So let's look at our last example problem. Example four. Now, in example four, Mr. Jefferson's sales um, for the month was $37,970. His graduated sales is a commission scale. That's not the amount of pieces he creates or, or completes. It's the amount of dollars that he has sold, and it pays a different commission for each tier that he hits. So we treat it exactly the same way as we do the piecework scale, but we use dollar amounts instead. So let's look at his dollar amount. So we have 37,970 is what he sold last month. Now it says 8% on the first 15,000. So we know we're gonna do 8% times 15,000 because he sold more than that. So let's take away 15,000 and see what he has left. When we subtract that, we get 22,970. So this says 10% on the next 10,000. Well, this is more than 10,000, so we know he's gonna get all of that. So 10% times 10,000. All right, so let's take 10,000 away to see what he has left. That's going to be 12,970. So this is what he's going to get paid 
on what is over 25,000. 15 plus 10 is your 25. So the amount over that, which is 12,970, he's gonna get paid 15% on. So 0.15 times 12,970, and that is going to be his commission. All right, so let's do the calculations here. I'll pull up my calculator. For the first commission, I've got 0 0.08 times 15,000. That's 1,200. So let's write that here, 1,200 plus, and we know 1% of 10,000, I can, I can do that one, that's gonna be 1,000, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the calculator. Just double check my math. Yes, I did that right, that's 1,000. So we put 1,000 here, Plus, now we need to find the percentage of commission he made on the 12,970. So we're going to say 0.15, which is 15%, times 12970. That equals $1,945.50. Okay, $1,945.50. And that is going to equal his commission. And all we have to do is add those up. I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the calculator. I've already got the last number in, so let's just add these two together. 1,200 plus 1,000, that's going to be 2,200 or 2,000. So plus 2,200, 4,145.50. So 4,000. 145 and 50 cents is the amount of his commission. And that's how you would solve that type of problem. Remember you're going to, because it's a graduated commission scale, whatever this percentage is, you apply it to that amount and then you take that amount away from the total because you need to see how much is in each tier. So you take away this amount, we take away this amount, and whatever's left gets this percentage rate applied to it. And that is what we did. And that gave us 1,945 for that last tier. All right, and that's all the example problems we have for Lesson 3.4. I will see you in Lesson 3.5.